a lot looser than it was. It's not as tight on uh, the velocity here. And if you're looking at, uh, just let's go over a few spots though, as you shelter, take shelter immediately. Still a very dangerous storm as the storm is pushing off to straight to the east. And we do have a report. This is from the same storm, but back into uh, northern Tuscaloosa County. A uh, roof was reported off of a home and Gray Drive at Mount Olive Community there from that possible tornado. So it was, we're looking at this this is that same cell moving through the north and western portions of Jefferson County here this morning and this is all back from Tuscaloosa and we have a double box here where you can see our Jack's eye in the sky from the top of Red Mountain here at looking at the lightning and that potential uh, you're, you're let me say this you are not going to see this tornado and that's one thing we're, we're trying to show this to you and the aspect of it's dark you cannot see anything here so don't try to get out there and look at these storms but still very dangerous here as this uh, storm is for Blunt, Jefferson and St. Clair County as it continues to push off to. It is pushing straight to the east at about 55, 45 miles per hour there. So this one, along with the one back into Green County, Sumter has been canceled from that tornado warning, but it's still Green County until 345. I'm going to widen out the radar here so you can see what the other area of rotation is back here. Yeah, we're going to... All right, what you need to do, if you are in a mobile home, you need to go to a very sturdy structure and you need to make sure that you are getting there now. You should be, if there's a tornado warning, that means this is very imminent. It is moving in your direction and you only have a few minutes. So please make sure you grab your family and you get to that safe place. Have the weather radio, have your phone. You can look up and Twitter as well for all updates. I'm constantly updating. Ted and Mark, we're all updating Twitter so we can give you the most up-to-date information and go to the lowest floor, a closet, a go to the bathroom, no windows, no doors. Make sure that you put, you can put a mattress uh, on top of you, pillows, blankets, just everything that can keep you safe from any possible debris because that's the most dangerous part. And what we're seeing from these storms as they move through Oak Grove, as they move through uh, the center point area, we have a lot of damage that is being reported from this, not only with just trees and power lines, but structural damage as well. So these winds are very strong. We we also have this uh, tornado that we've been tracking all the way back through and from northern Tuscaloosa County all the way up through now and moving through St. Clair and we're getting reports and non-confirmed reports of people that are uh, being trapped because of these winds. So we have two tornado warnings now, one tornado warning now for the Bibb, Chilton, Hale and Perry and that will be until 515. This is the southern storm and then also for the St. Clair County, Etowah County and up through and uh, just to the north of Springville right around yep. 59. All right, Haley, I'm looking uh, to get an update here on the velocity data because I don't want those of you in Bibb in uh, Chilton counties to think we've forgotten about you because we're trying to get everything um, it worked out because of the loss of the uh, the radar site from the National Weather Service office. But I can tell you, Northern Perry County, we do have a uh, solid rotation, which is just north of Marion. Okay, what do you have, Kaylee? Uh, we are obviously getting reports in on several mediums here, and we are checking Twitter. So this is a, a Twitter report that Trustful Fire is requesting utilities because of major gas leak. Okay. Um, so as we look at uh, all of the reports coming in here, uh, major damage uh, in the trustful area as well as uh, power outages all the way along this line as the storm continues to push to the north and east. The storm's been pushing northeast. It's about eight miles northeast of Odenville right now. That is the latest update of the storm, 50 mile per hour. Uh, storm spotters are tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado. Uh, so this is very important. Take this very seriously. Lots of damage from the storm. So we need you, if you are in Etowah County, St. Clair, and Calhoun, please take cover immediately as this is a very strong storm. Don't get on the roadways. I know a lot of people are uh, supposed to be heading off to work right now. Please make sure you just wait this out and you just let the storm pass before you get out because it moves through very quickly once it actually gets through. Again, uh, near Asheville, eight miles northeast of Odenville, Mark, as we watch all the, these reports come in. So I'm going to keep this updated on Twitter as well if you want to follow at Mark Prater, at Kaylee Dion, at Ted McInerney, and also at CBS 42. They'll be updated on all of those. Kaylee? 
Now from the National Weather Service, Mark, on the Bibb County, the Chilton County, and the uh, Perry County storm. This tornado warning is in till 515, and we have it updated moving about east at 60 miles per hour. And we talked about this earlier. It's increasing speed, and it has continued to increase speed. And it's eight miles south of the Harrisburg area. So if you are in those areas, please make sure that you are getting to your safe place as well, as this is a very dangerous storm. And I want to make sure that we touched on this update here, 11 miles northeast of Marion. So and then we're getting another update watching a uh, rotation over western Shelby County. So that is something that we need to keep a watch on. There's no warning on that one yet, but that's another area of concern. But another Old Springville Road, uh, major structural damage. All of these reports coming in right now from the other storm, the one up in St. Clair and also Etowah in Calhoun County. So that is Springville. There's major structural damage on Old Springville Road. And we talked about that as it storm pushed through, Mark. Kaylee. All right, we have, um, Mark, we are getting in more information from the storm that's now up in Etowah County that moved through Jefferson and also St. Clair and scooted up there. There is a report from Fultondale, major structural damage reported near the 500 block of U.S. Highway 31 in Fultondale from the storm and uh, it, if we widen out on radar we have two very dangerous storms the one it, over Maplesville that we were just talking about and then the one that uh, is now up uh, just to the west of Piedmont this morning just to the south and west of Piedmont see that there on the radar and this is what we're watching for that rotation continuing this has tracked all the way from when we really started watching in North Tuscaloosa County all the way now moving to the extreme eastern portion of the state here 204 pounding you right now just to the north of the Weaver area. Piedmont, you need to take cover just south of Hooks Bluff, 278. These are areas that are seeing this storm that produced major, not only major structural damage in Fultondale, but also in the Trustful Clay Paradise Valley uh, subdivision there. We're getting reports out of that as well. But if we want to go back down to the Chilton County storm, where it's this, this is a very dangerous storm. I want to show this right now where it's widened out, where you can still see that hook. Look at how far back you can identify that hook down there. Uh, Mark, let's go over to the real quick the Piedmont, the storm near Piedmont right. right now. Go ahead. Zoomed in on that there. It's just to the east of Piedmont. So if you're in that area, need to take shelter immediately because there is a tornado there. And you can see it's just right along. Let me put that roadway up right here. 21 and 278. Yeah. Do not get out on those roadways. Nine as well, it's going to be crossing over. If you're in Anniston, if you're in Ohatchee, Gadsden, you're no longer uh, a worry with this storm, but Piedmont then going to be crossing over to the state line to Georgia very shortly with that particular storm. What do you have, Kaylee? Well, I just wanted to say to uh, the people that are in the clear, those of you who are, don't have any uh, imminent warning of this as the storms have passed, if you have any pictures that uh, you want to send in to us, you can send it to weather at cbs42.com. You can also tweet them to me, Kaylee Dion, as well as Mark Prater and Ted McInerney, and also CBS42 if you hashtag that. We can also get them off there, and uh, we will be able to show them here on the air. We're getting a couple pictures in. We're going to pull them up in just a minute. But again, you can tweet them. You can also put them on our Facebook page and also email them to us with pictures. But let's go ahead and get back to the radar because we have warned storms. Uh, the one that we're watching very closely, very dangerous, is now east of Maplesville right along 22 and it's going to continue to push to the east. Stay off 65. If you are in Chilton County, stay off Interstate 65, stay off 22, stay off 155. Just wait till the storm passes and it moves off to the east before you get out and start trying to make your way to work or check to see if anybody's okay. Make sure that storm is past the entire area. Now I'm going to go back out and widen this entire, let's look at this entire storm here. Cold fronts pushing through, clearing back Marion County, Lamar County, you guys are in the clear here and that those most of our counties, Jefferson, even Tuscaloosa, dropped from the tornado watch now. And then just to the east is now with those storms. Mark, look at all that lightning. Kaylee? 
Yeah, I'm looking and I'm updating on uh, Twitter. If you guys will send us your information here, uh, uh, Twitter at Kaylee Dion, at Mark Prater, and at Ted McInerney. We can uh, we are getting updates constantly from there, sending updates constantly, as well as keeping you updated on these two storms that we have left in the, uh, the Talladega County, Shelby County, and also down into Chilton County. And those two storms are the ones that we're watching very closely. The good news is with the Chilton County storm, it's actually starting to weaken just a little bit, but still what we've noticed with these storms, Mark, is that they, they weaken and they strengthen and they weaken and then they strengthen and it's just like their life cycle as they continue to um, move and trek to the east. Mark? Yeah, they, they really do. And uh, joint reports of uh, widespread damage and structural damage and even some injuries and a few fatalities from this storm. We'll get more information on that coming up, but these storms are uh, moving through still two right now that are warned and will be warned for the next uh, several minutes and they are have a nice echo on them. Let's go ahead and take a look at that echo on radar right now and uh, Ted you can point that out. Absolutely. Stretches all the way down here and we have that cold front. This is all going to continue to progress to the east as we go through in the next several hours. In the clear back here the counties are starting to be dropped from the tornado watch but if you you can see all of the lightning in these individual cells and thanks Ted for zooming that in just to the east of Clanton west of Rockford. This is our tornado warned storm right now. This is the one warning that we have left in the area. Good news that Talladega up near the Talladega area that has weakened considerably and is no longer a tornado warning. Just to the south here, what's left? Let's look at the velocity data here. I've also got it pulled up on my phone and it does look a little bit tighter than it was a little bit ago just to the east of the Rockford area. Alexander City, you need to make sure you're getting your safe place. Just to the south of Silicaga, this is going to be pushing to the northeast. So it's going to slide just to the north, just to the north here of Rockford. Rockford. And what are we getting winds wise? 37 miles per hour there. And what happens is what we're looking at this map is the greens and the reds. And we're looking for a couplet where we have the inbound and outbound winds. And what happens is when you get the inbound, that's where we get that circulation. And that's where we get that potential for that tornado. So it's a very important uh, vorticity is what we call it. And that's what we look at. And that's why you're seeing all of this. We have 32 mile per hour winds there, a lightning 56 strikes in the past hour. So this storm, this particular one, has ramped up and then weakened and this is a life cycle of a storm cell and it uh, you'll see it weaken and don't get your hopes up yet because then it will as a life cycle start to intensify again and then we start to see all of that lightning and that means that storms intensifying and do we have any updates coming in from the National Weather Service Mark yeah now zoom into this let's take a look at it it's near the Rockford area I'm gonna move over to the side here Ted we're getting uh, reports and this same cell is the same one that moved through Maplesville caused a lot of damage it's a push to the north and east. So 231, moving up just to the south of Goodwater. You need to get into your safe place there. You can start to see a little bit of that hook. So it weakened a little bit. Now we get the clean sweep in here and we're starting to see that uh, increase in intensity as the storm pushed through. It's our only warning right now. This is our only storm that's left under a tornado warning and it is uh, till 615 and it's moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Now I know we have updates coming in, uh, school closing, school delays, also power outages, and that we are going to go to uh, Brooke Smith and Stephen Health to update us on all that information, guys. All right. Thank you so much, Kayla. Yeah. Um, for now, back over to the weather team. Thanks, guys, and let's get an update here. We do have um, updated information from the National Weather Service, and uh, T Talladega County has been dropped from the tornado warning, so all that's left is Coosa County tornado warning until 615, and that is because of this storm right here, just right near the Rockford area. And Mark, you got some updates? Yeah, actually, that tornado, tornado warning has been uh, extended for uh, Clay, Coosa, and Tallapoosa counties. That's okay. until 645. So it continues to go up to the northeast. So it covers these three counties here. If you are in Alexander City, this is going to scoot just to the north of you. Rockford, you need to, I've already been in your safe place. We've said it uh, several times. This storm has produced lots of damage off to the east in the Maplesville areas across I-65 through Chilton County. This is that same cell now in our extreme southeastern 
part of the viewing area. Not only do we have this rotation with this uh, potential tornado, but we also have heavy rainfall and lots of lightning with the storm with this just as dangerous. So you need to get to your safe place and I'm going to send it over to uh, meteorologist Ted McInerney to go over what you need to do when you do have a tornado warning. Ted? Absolutely, Kaylee. I just want to point out some good news that we're actually getting here. It's the best to you and uh, we know where we're getting these pictures coming in from. A lot of them have just been the picture and then storms uh, put pins in Alabama or clay or even the uh, the subdivision that you live in if you're sending in pictures of storm damage as these storms have pushed through today. But again, it's very great that you send this in. You can also tweet us at Kaylee Dion, at Ted McInerney, and at Mark Prater as we can can keep you updated all the time. We also have that CBS 42 weather page as well as Mark's uh, Facebook page uh, with all of these spots being updated. But let's go back. Let's go to the radar now and look at what we have for our tornado warning for Clay, Coosa, and Tallapoosa until 645. The storm, I have it circled there. It is just to the west of Alexander City. So if you are, do not travel on 280 or 9 those areas are under the gun right now, and Ted's got some more updated information for us. But other than that, all of the rest of the area is not warned for a tornado warning, which is good news. Still a lot of things going on. I just tweeted about staying away from power lines. If you are heading off and finally getting out after these storms have passed through, please stay away from down power lines. They're very dangerous. If you're going to help, uh, just it's a good to help. Just don't get in the way. Don't go out to sightsee. And uh, we're going to keep continuing to bring you most up to date information as this cold front continues to push off to the east these storms will go with it if we want to take a look at radar real quick as we look at where that cold front is located and uh, the cold front is located back behind this line of storms at, right along interstate 2059 here and the wide picture showing the line of storms really starting to make it closer to interstate 85 and uh, that's where we'll start to see all these storms start to move out that's good news here then we'll clear up for today and start the cleanup process from these storms that moved through overnight and early this morning. We do have updates in coming from the news, deck where, news desk where we've been getting a lot of information. And so we're going to send it over to uh, Brooke Smith and Stephen Houck for updates on our news side of this.